to give up. Good morning, fam. It's a great day and I got great hair. I just went out for a run. It was a good one. A little over six and a half miles this morning. Oh, Danny Zuko. It's Friday. It's gonna be a great day. Sweet Bear is about to go to the gym and then she is traveling out to the suburbs to go hang out with my sister to do some dress fittings, some more dress fittings and stuff. As for me and my house, we will not only worship the Lord today, but we will be working today. But tonight, going to see another movie. That's pretty much what life is right now. It's kind of like wake up, run, movie, sister's wedding, work, rinse, repeat. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be an adventure though. Today is special. Every day is special. Every moment is precious. Love you all. See you in a minute. Hello? I'm not here. You can't see me. Yes, I can. How you doing, dude? I'm fine, how are you? Would you like me to help you with this makeup? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, fine. Sweet Bear's getting Letty, Letty, Letty to leave, ready to leave right now, uh, and I am making her a little bit of lunch before she goes. Little mushrooms and morning star nuggets. Ugh. But as always, gotta throw a little salt on that, and gotta throw lots of pepper. Sweet Bear loves her pepper. Here you go, my darling wife. Thank you. Little lunch for you. Here we go, little taste test. How is it? I'm so nervous. Yeah. Good. So I have an idea for today. Hey team, so Sweet Bear and I decided that today on the vlog, in the hopes of spurning more positivity onto the internet, that we would share one thing that each of us is grateful for separately. Oh, John wanted me to say one thing I'm grateful for right now. For me, it's something that sounds so simple, but I am grateful for my evenings. For those of you who don't know me before this vlog started, um, I worked as an actor in New York City for a couple years, and I worked nights, as in 5 p.m. to midnight, for almost two years uh, in a show. And I'm not trying to say that I'm such a martyr for working hours in the evening. I know people work nights for their entire career. Really, I'm grateful for him. He's been such a good hubby. And it's been kind of a crazy month. Um, and he's just always taking care of us. I never realized how important the evening and family time was to me until that happened. And just being the best husband ever. I'm really grateful for my job. I really love my job and I really love the people I work with and I feel super duper lucky. And I realized how important it is to me to have nights like last night where we have people over and we watch TV and we discover a new silly stupid game we can play. And like John was saying yesterday, like, we're just really happy with where our lives are right now, which is like a really good thing. That's something I'm really grateful for. I am grateful for my evenings, that when five, six o'clock rolls around, I can turn things off and I can focus on the people around me and the people I love. So I'm grateful for that today. So yeah, I don't know, that sounds so like cheesy, but that's true. That's what I wanted to share with you all. I wonder what sweep I was grateful for. Okay friends, we have one dress appointment down. It went well. Um, and now we're headed to another one. I had to stop and get gas really quick because I was running on empty. It is so cold. It's like bitter, disgusting cold and I'm so over it. And January is almost over, which is one of the worst months of the year. But then February is the other worst month and then March is the other worst month. So we're a third of the way through. But anyways, let's go to another appointment. Whoop, whoop, let's find that dress, girl. Hey team. It's later. Sweet Bear's home. How was it? It was good. We, right now, we're going to see a movie. DJ's coming to pick us up, so we're waiting for him right now. What are we going to see, Sweet Bear? Yan. No, we already saw Yan. What are we going to see? Moonlight. Moonlight. I think I'm actually now most excited about seeing this film. Really? Be because I was pretty excited about it, but now after hearing like the reviews of it and hearing what other people thought of it, I think I'm really going to like it. 
I don't really have any ideas about it or what it's about, so. And I think it's probably the best chance to beat La La Land for best picture. Even it's though I don't think beating. anything, no. I, I don't think anything will, but I think it's probably, my prediction is it will be the best chance for that. But anyway, DJ's going to pick us up. Here we go. done it's over we made it thoughts on the film um not my favorite i gotta be honest so i didn't like it very much i just thought it was really boring and like i liked the story i just didn't necessarily like the way that it was told oh okay like the devices and the directing it was just very slow i feel you and i maybe it's because i'm tired but like i was just really bored yeah dj gj I really liked it. Yeah? I liked how subtle it was. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I didn't like how subtle it was. Uh, your review is done, ma'am. <laughs> oh, I just, yeah. I, I like... didn't like that thing you just said you liked. <laughs> but, like, that's, I don't know, that makes, it. I thought it assumed that the audience is smart enough to understand that. And it, like, allowed it, <laughs> it allowed the characters to develop. Uh-huh. In like a, I don't know, because I lo I loved how consistent the characters were. Like, Chiron was so. Between well the three of those guys, they were so amazing. Like, and that how like the last one, how you would like snap in and out of. Yes. Like tough guy. He was, was, so was so good. good. He was really good. I loved it. Like really, really loved it. One of my favorite movies of the year. It's not a movie that I probably will ever watch again. It's very uncomfortable to watch. Yeah, it's it's tough to watch. But the, so the reasons I liked it. One, I I thought it was the most beautifully shot movie I've seen in a long time. I also really loved it because of the three these this these three guys, this little kid, this teenager, and then this full grown man play this one character through his whole life and they're so incredibly consistent it's like watching the same person but then i think the main reason i really liked it is because that is a story that i have not seen told in film before that's true and and i appreciate that and i really enjoy that because that's not a story that i've seen told in film and that is also because of how i've been brought up and where i've been brought up that's not a story i've seen happen in real life or experienced. That's all. Sweet Bear, do you want to um, interrupt? No. Okay. All right, everyone. We love you. That's the end of the night. Have a great, great Saturday when you're watching this. Keep being awesome. Nice.